Okay, so it's honestly not as bad as I, like it could have been. Still disgusting. Um, yeah. There's some of the uh, comet stuff. And then I don't know what this is, but it's filled with shit. There's still stuff in some of the jets. Yeah. Um, and then that's the stuff that was squirted onto the wall. Um, yeah. That one still has stuff. That one still has stuff. These are the ones that squirted stuff to the wall. So, after all of that, in like an hour of just letting it sit with the comet and the Clorox stuff, there's still yellow stuff on the bottom of the top. And I'm really, 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 really hoping it is like candle wax or something because that is disgusting and it's not coming off. Like, look at that, ew. Like dust would have been one thing, but it was like cardboard shit that came out. Ugh. You know my whole anxiety thing with using the oven? 
I used the freaking oven today for the first time ever. No, the first time in like four months. Um, thinking, hey, it's a new house, it's a new oven, I'll be fine. I'm not gonna start a fire. There was smoke. It was in the oven for 10 minutes out of 20 minutes and there was freaking smoke. I had to open the back doors and I had to turn off the oven and let it sit there for like 10 minutes just so like I could wait for the smoke to go away. Like why? Oh my God. freaking nice does this look oh my god i've been playing like in between hot and cold so i can get that perfect like warm and i'm so excited just to sit in here and read for an hour like just a full hour of just read that's it i'm so excited forgot to vlog because I've had people here <laughs> all week um oh my goodness okay um we had construction workers here the whole time it was very loud and I just was not able to properly vlog but it's Saturday I go home tomorrow morning and I need to pack I love how I brought this with me and I never used it um, and I am so proud because I am done painting, for now at least. Um, for my art room I still need to do, like, some touch-ups, but I'm gonna let the walls dry, so I'm probably not gonna touch it again. I don't think I'll touch it again today, but when I come back in a few months I'll finally get to finish my art room. Um, and then I have a few places in my bedroom that need to be done, but I just found out that apparently I'm getting a door into the bathroom and I'm gonna have my own ensuite bathroom so I'm just gonna leave it and I will paint in a few months when I come back and I know what's happening in there. I'm actually kind of excited. I'll have my own bathroom for the first time ever. <laughs> I can put stuff somewhere and it have it be there when I come back in or I can clean and organize and have it stay clean and organized. And I'm so excited. I need to reorganize my bag. There's a few things in here that I might have to leave here um, so that I can actually carry my suitcase. Oh, and then I'm just gonna spend the rest of the day relaxing. The original plan was to actually go, where was I gonna go? Oh my God, my wrist hurts so much. Oh, I'm also super upset because um, I have no thought process right now. Why? Um, what was I gonna say? Oh, right, okay, so my apartment building. Um, when I went to move in, I wanted to get a solo apartment so I wouldn't have to deal with all my allergies and stuff and like people. So I was request I requested to be put on the wait list, which they said I was. But then they got new management and I guess I was taken off the wait list. So it's a good thing I emailed them when I did because otherwise I would have lost the solo apartment that they said literally just became available when I emailed. Um, so I responded back immediately. Like within an hour of being emailed back, I responded and I said, I don't need information. You don't need to tell me anything about it. Um, I don't need costs, like prices, whatever. Literally just, I will sign the papers right now. Send me the papers, I will sign them. Like there's, there doesn't need to be a discussion or anything. I will just sign the papers. Um, and it's now been two weeks and I have not received any response at all. So I am extremely upset because I was told there's a very, very high possibility that I will have roommates next semester, uh, next year, like in the fall, um, and I, I can't do roommates. 
the only way I could possibly do roommates is if my roommates somehow had all the allergies I have. Um, because like even if they were super considerate of my allergies, it's an incredibly annoying thing to have to deal with. They won't be allowed to eat any nuts, peanuts, coconut, they won't be able to have perfume, um, like really like scent, uh, like smelly perfume, I don't know. Um, they won't be able to have any of that if we live together. And it's not just like me being picky, it's literally if they have any of this, I could either die, like worst case scenario, die, or just have a completely miserable experience living. And then there's also the fear that if they don't have my allergies, maybe they have their own allergies. And now we're living in a household where the stuff that I eat to like live that I'm not allergic to is something that they're allergic to and the stuff that they eat to like live <laughs> that they're not allergic to are what my allergies are because that's exactly the situation with one of my friends we could never live together because i'm allergic to red meat she's allergic to white meat um she oh what does she eat she can't eat like white bread and stuff like that whereas i can only eat processed bread because of my wheat allergy I'm not gluten free. I have freaking. I'm allergic to grains and nuts and stuff. Which means I can only eat processed bread or sourdough. That is my little rant. Um, I say it as I go through all of my clothes and try to pick out my outfit for tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god. It's just, it's not fun. And I really need them to respond to me. Even if their response is just that they don't have the apartment anymore, I need some form of response or my anxiety is gonna keep going crazy. Oh, um, what else do I need in here? Okay, rant over, I'm gonna finish packing and then laundry. Okay, um, so since I'm done painting, um, I can't do any schoolwork right now because I won't be able to focus. Instead, I'm going to work on finishing, oh, I guess I shouldn't be in this area then. Um, I'm going to work on finishing a, a new video in a Sims series that I started. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but I love interior design, and so I had this fun idea to do, um, to make over all the different like main houses and like pre-built stuff on sims so i'm currently working on uh the second video in that series and i'm gonna do like every single world um i also built my parents new house in the sims which will be a different video um and i'm going to do a whole video thing whatever of designing the house how i want it um, as well as using the game to design my bedroom and my art room, which will be in my art room makeover video in a few months. <laughs> I'm so thinking ahead right now. 
and now I need to do the intro for this. I don't even remember what it's called. Chateau Friss is what I'm working on right now. Um, I'm gonna do this while I watch Gilmore Girls. on the freaking mirrors which really sucks because i really wanted to do that transition where you like you throw up your clothes and then you like change so weird okay anyways pajamas clothing <laughs> and dressed yay <laughs> that was so weird and random but you know what who cares i am focused damn it oh Here's my outfit, and then my big boots, and I'm going on a train today. My first time ever being on a train that wasn't like a kiddie one when I was four. <laughs> and it's all by myself because I am adulting, apparently. <sighs> Gotta love the crazy hair. And now I need to attempt to take my suitcase downstairs <laughs> oh god look really heavy like I said when you go into the car there's a spot where the luggage is going to be a blank spot there Why do you take me? 